Uh, well, Simon, um, in terms of the personnel you've got available for this game, we know Mark Bowler won't be, um, but you've got him back. How pleased are you? Yeah, look, I'm um, delighted. I think he was a big player for the football club last year. Um, decided uh, to go to Middlesbrough. Um, championship came uh, beckoning for him. Uh, but then his name got thrown around to us in the last week, 10 days or so, and uh, after speaking to the owner and, and Ben, we decided it's too good an opportunity to, uh, to turn down because of knows the place, knows a lot of the players, uh, can play in a number of positions, and uh, we just wanted to keep adding to the quality and the competition for places. And, um, it just, I thought it was a no-brainer for us. Have you reached any agreement or anything with Ben Hennigan at this moment in time? Uh, we're in talks with him. We are quite close to some news, whether it's good or bad, you'll have to wait and see. So you're hoping for a permanent transfer? Um, well, if it's good news, we'll be looking to probably do something to the end of the season. And then both teams, can, both us and Ben, can keep their options open. If it's poor news, he goes back to Sheffield United. <laughs> when you prepare for Reading, are you preparing for the team that you played last time, or have you got to prepare almost for two different teams? I think the preparation that we're doing is more about what we need to do to try and win the game and the work that uh, we think we need to improve on, not just for Tuesday's game, but for Saturday and the week after and the week after. We need to do a lot of work where we can improve in, in many departments. Do I know what team Reading will play? No, of course I don't. But I would suggest and I would think it would be more or less similar to the team that played us in the first game because you're looking, I'm thinking now as a manager, you've played on a Saturday with a certain 11, you travel up on a Monday, you play Tuesday night, you don't get back till 3, 4 in the morning. Your, your week is really disrupted for your game at the weekend and Reading have got a good opportunity to, to close the gap on the player. So if I'm thinking like, a manager of the opposition, I would be thinking it would be similar to the game where they used a lot of fringe players. Whether, whether one particular squad play, first team player makes it up here where it's more of a, a local game for him than, than other situations.